Mr. should pull the care here. No, I don't want you to take me in your, in your camera, please. I don't like it. Take the air in that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, Excuse me. Excuse me, are you a police officer? And hi guys, I hope you're all okay, I hope you're all looking after yourself. Today, after a long uh, walk, we are at the city of Manchester um, headquarters, police headquarters. And this is the main headquarters for Greater Manchester Police. As you notice, it's quite a newish building. Um, if you ever noticed as well, with all these uh, police stations nowadays, they're locating them in areas uh, people can't really get to and can't really find, um, which is appalling, to be totally honest, because it's costing you, and it shouldn't be costing you to come to a police station to report crime. It's in the central of hardly nowhere, guys. In the middle of an industrial estate. What happened to central police stations in city centres or town centres? We seem not to be getting them anymore. And it seems it's constantly in the middle of nowhere. What happens if you're disabled? You're bad on, you're bad on your legs, you have to have a wheelchair. There's no parking hardly anywhere on this road. At all. So imagine you want to report crime. Imagine you need to come, you don't know Manchester, you've just, you've just visited it, but you've had a bit of trouble and you need to answer bail. This is the kind of place you've actually got to come and find. It's absolutely and utterly appalling where these stations are now getting located. And it doesn't matter if there's buses or if there's trams around here. What happens if you can't afford it, as well? It's absolutely not really appalling. Yeah, there's a lot of corruption in this place as well, guys. So we put more down underneath anyway. 
police constable resigns and also police will leave. A lot of sex as well in this place. Um, a lot of uh, Greater Manchester Police. Greater Manchester Police failed to record 80,000 crimes in a year. Decided it were nice to smack his dog in the head. Because it pulled on the carpet. But yet he's a firearms officer, but yet he's still at duty. If he does that with a dog, a dog would, it, would you I was to trust him with a firearms? Because I wouldn't. And that was a Sergeant Martin Dunn. He said, you little bastard, Greater Manchester officer, punches puppy when it pulled on the carpet. But yet he's a firearms officer at the airport. This is the moment a uh, Great Manchester pl police officer, firearms officer, punched a five-month puppy after it pulled on his living room carpet. We'll put the report underneath for you guys to read. But just think, if you can do this to a dog, I know this lot, would you trust him with fatty arms? As I said, this is Great Manchester Police Headquarters. This is Northampton Road in Manchester, M40 5BP. It's a public area. No, it's not quite just take me in your foot in your camera, please. I don't like it. Take the area. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you a police officer? You're just going to have to identify yourself. You would do that. They think they're above the law. I know they do.
don't like it to be filmed, do they, Dad? But, the, but it's okay for them to be for, to film us on body cameras. Isn't it? It's like by the uh, park up, Dad. Okay. Don't touch anything, don't go behind anything. Just stay on here. Got oh, eighty thousand cases, was it? Yeah. They're not. That they're not. They failed to report. Yeah, they failed to report. Yeah. Eighty slash zero 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 allegation offences. What's this? Amanda Norris has slammed Joe Greater Manchester Police after her boyfriend was attacked by six men. She claims England's second biggest force failed to properly properly investigate the assault in August last year. Greater Manchester Police is not recording around one in five cases reported. Damning reports revealed that figures rose to one in four violent crimes and resented 80 slash 00 allegations offences or 1220 a day. MH Inspector Constable Zoe Big Inham is deeply troubled by cases closing without proper form, basically. Are you a domestic violence victim let down by police, uh, Greater Manchester Police? The federal court uh, the, the information underneath. Well, then you've got the police officer, I've just said before, uh, Sergeant Martin Dunn, who basically He's a firearms officer at, at uh, Manchester Airport as well. He got the, he got basically he he's dog, but yet he's a firearms officer and still working. As you can tell, guys, with the with the lock, it's actually locked, so you can't go and report crime today. Guys, a constable who filmed himself sexually abusing a woman had she slept one who asked not to be sent in for students and another who did not declare links with an organised crime gang and was 12 officers and staff sat by Greater Manchester Police in the last nine months. Then there's another uh, that's Dominic Dunn, 26. Who uh, was uh, it? Was, uh, was one of them? Greater uh, Manchester gross misconduct case, which raised and the officer was removed from the force. That was uh, 
texting our one WhatsApp messages. Another one, it, 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 it in the head with a baton. That was 2016. A police officer has been sat for most suspicious conduct after it's in a mammon on the head with a baton during the arrest. And that was Phil Ellis. And that was in October 2016. Uh, there's another one for you. A seven police officer has been arrested on suspicion of sexual harassment in conjunction with an investigation in misconduct in the workplace. Uh, see, there's loads, guys. But yet, they're supposed to be working for us. Not recording crime, but yet it's a job to do it. So like I'd put all these links underneath when we play to these. And let's see what you think of them. Sat your reception guys. Please use the uh, the fog. Yeah. Technical, you want it? Yeah. Technical edge, you want it, Dad? Yeah. This car here, guys.
another different funny coloured one. Technical unit again. Yeah. What a uh, funny cars, isn't it? Yeah. Like of a bus you can get, guys. Uh, one one four and one five one. One five one. We can only get it up to ten o'clock at night. Sunday, if you can give you give your chicken. Yeah. One every hour. Same with Saturday. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Two dogs. Two, three, two, fifteen, forty-eight, sixteen, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. Your last one was twenty-two, ten. But after seven, five, basically quarter past five, it's every hour then, basically. Mm -hmm. Guys. For a lot of time they've got an habit of resting you and keeping you 24 hours and then releasing you about 2 a.m. in the morning. Sound to a lot of people that. But you've got no bus, you've got no you don't know where you are, you're stranded, you don't know Manchester, you're a bit lost, aren't you? You don't know where you are. Like I said, they're removing all the, no, no less all the police stations away from the, away from the towns and the cities. So you're, you're stubborn in a, in a sense. Well, from, from Manchester city centre to you, it's three mile. So if you get out at two o'clock in the morning, you're three mile to walk to, ta to Manchester city centre. Unless well, you get a taxi. And then you've got your taxi fare on the top. What happens if you're not you're not very well with cash? What what happens if you've got no cash? You 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 you're out of work. We yeah. just had a, a major um, crisis, haven't we? We just had a massive lockdown. Yeah. People will be out of work. Yeah. So you're a bit stubborn, aren't you? Station, Let's have a look at the tram station. See if we can take you to back at the police station. Show you back at the police station, you guys. It's a bit, a bit weird, isn't it?
watch if it stand at that point and get back at the police station. Yeah. Just be careful you they don't stand on track. Yeah. I just want to see them get to back to get back at the police station from it, yeah. You know, uh, hey. You need to put your fat that on. You need to put that on on here. This is your back of your police station guys. The only way you can actually uh, view this guys, because it's all clossed off by uh, trees and bushes, is to actually go on the... Uh... There you go guys. It's the only way you can actually get to it is coming on the tram line. Uh, platform. Train track in it. Yeah.
And uh, for the people as well that are police, this letter here tells you you're perfectly in your right to record st police stations. So if you're police, that's actually come from one of your main chiefs. That says you can actually record police stations and it's perfectly a legal thing to do. It says, Dear colleagues, guidance for photographics. I am writing to let you in my consistency of chair of the ACPO Community Service Group, which sits in the presidential business area. There have been a number of recent incidents highlighted in the press where officers have been detaining photographic people and deleting images from their camera. I have seeked support in reminding, reminding your, our officers and staff, I'll say that again, reminding our officers and staff that they should not prevent anyone from taking photographs in public. This applies equally to members of the media and public seeking to record items. Who do not need a permission to photograph or film in a public place. The guidelines follow. There are no powers preventing the taking of photographs, films, digital images in a public place. Therefore, members of the public and press should not be prevented from doing so. I will say this again. There are no powers. You cannot stop people doing it. There is no law. We need to cooperate with the media and amateur photographers that play a vital role as their images help us identify criminals. We must acknowledge that civilian journalism is a is a feature of modern life and police officers are now photographing and filming ever more. Unnecessary restriction photographics ever from the public cudgel tourist or professional is unacceptable and imitating public convenience in the police service. Once an image has been recorded, the police have no power to delete it or confiscate it without a court order. If you want to do, read more on this, you can go to his website, which is, or ask him. His name is Robin Edwards. Then you've got an at btp.pnn.police.uk. We shall put all this information at the bottom for you guys. Well, if you want to ring him, you've got a number of 0207 830. 8810. Or you can email him, Andrew Trotter, at which is one of them, yeah, btb.pnn.police.uk. Well, if you want to write, it's 25 Camden Road, London, NW19LN. So it's not a criminal offence, guys? Nope. Not so any police officers that are watching these videos that were perfectly in our rights to record. But on the other hand as well guys, they do have a right to uh, ask you what you're doing because it obviously the work there and uh, that type of thing and uh, they shouldn't be asking that, yeah. but people will ask won't they? Hi guys, can you tell us why there's so many crimes not being reported, please? 
pod. Okay? Yeah, okay, love. Can okay. you tell us why there's so many crimes not being the pod? You don't ever get an answer, love. We've tried this. She didn't really want to talk, did she, Dad? No, because they don't voice that way. We're on to them, they don't like it when you know. <sighs> what about that armed response officer that thought it was all right to hit a dog? Yeah, it's still, yeah, it's still working. Why didn't, why didn't they suspend him? Oh, well, I'll basically say, it's, an, it's cruelty to animals, it should have basically been dismissed. It's assault, isn't it? Yeah. Wait a minute, I was so Animal, animal cruelty, isn't it? What? Animal cruelty. Yeah. But think about it, it was at Manchester. What did, what did these have? Dogs, Horses, yeah. dogs. But yeah. So that, does that tell you basically that uh, they don't treat the animals with respect? Gets you thinking, doesn't it? Well, doesn't it? If a if a police officer, or fire out, well, I'll say a fire out sergeant, can smack a dog in the smack a dog in the head because it pulled on the carpet. What does what would the do to a police officer's dog? Arthur horses. Yeah. Oh, if, especially if you work in the, in the uh, airport, they have, they have sniffer dogs. You don't do it right, so it didn't do its job right. So was walked through with a load of cannabis. I just bat the dog about, head a few times. Mm. Well, there's a massive uh, cannabis problem in uh, Piccadilly Gardens. And if it, we'll, go down, we'll go down there later, guys, and we'll have a proper walk round and we'll... Uh, we did it the other day. It's nice. Yeah. You can stink it, it's bad. Even though that they're trying to make um, cannabis uh, legalised, guys, but oh. it's still a, a, a legal drug. <coughs> they say it's illegal, but a lot of people smoke it, but... But it's like a, it's like a spice um, type of problem. <clears throat> Greater Manchester Police uh, Headquarters, guys. I wonder if these would have a, 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 a pace. You could go in and ask. I don't know. I might take me all day, but I don't feel like. I wonder if these would have what a pace. I know other one did have one yesterday when I went in. 
Have we told it? As if you're going to ask for it. No, so it goes to try and take your details. You don't have to give it them, though. Don't give your details, that's what they're on the top of your the paste. They'll probably say, say it's online. It's online. It's online. It's online. It's online. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you for watching, uh, look after yourselves, and stay safe, um, and uh, as you can see, uh, Greater Manchester Police uh, today uh, are not very engaging uh, with the public I would say, in answering um, questions. Uh, but you have a right to ask, guys, and this type of thing shouldn't be happening. If people want to report a crime, they should be able to report a crime and they should actually be put onto the National Police Computer. But this police force... It's just the second, I, like, biggest in the, in the, it's, it's the second biggest country, one in the country, Man yeah. Greater Manchester Police. Well, it's, it's appalling. Um, people should be able to report crime and it should be logged. Wait a minute, it's the second biggest. But yet they're not doing the job. Corruption. A police a firearms officer smashed his, he smashed his dog's head because uh, he put shit on carpet. Yeah. But yet it's still as work working as a, fi a firearms officer at the airport this is what this is what we <laughs> these are what you need to do guys you need to get start doing your own work and, and look into the, the, the corruption of these police sex crimes violence well this goes on and on and on They're coming out. Hi, Bill, Alright, mate. What is up to you, lads? Just reporting on why there's so many crimes that are not being reported. Oh, why right. is that, mate? Alright, is it a protest? Yeah. Right, okay. It's not a protest, it's, well, it's just it's just Dorf saying play filming at police yeah, no, station no, no, and that no, type right. of thing. That's fine, yeah. Can we ask why you film at police station? Yes, yeah. we can. Yeah. Dad, don't go too close, Dad. Well, I'll have a look at it. You right, can have a look at it because we can. There's no law. Alright, but can you appreciate the concern that we would have as police officers, yes, with members of the public filming a police facility? Well, you're exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. That's fine, yeah. Yeah. but that's an evidence gathering tool. Well, that's that's the social media. Alright, I need to, I would like to know why you feel it's appropriate to film this particular police station today. And because it's with. the main headquarters for you it's guys. It's not the main headquarters. All right, I, see, I thought it was... Got completely all right, building. all right, I That's thought this right. was the main headquarters, guys, right. because this is what it says on it says online, that yeah, this is the main headquarters. It's, this is yeah. not all right, sorry if it... This is not Force no. HQ. All right. This is the wrong building. Okay. 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 We're not from you, Manchester. Where, and, where, where yeah. are you from, though? We're, we're from West Yorkshire. It's so why, why are you because from West Yorkshire? Because... Is this, to, is this in relation to the officer that's injured the dog and there's... Yeah, there's that, they've got loads of crimes. Number one, but... you've got the wrong division. Uh, and that's the number airport, two, yeah. yeah, well, wrong division again. Okay. And number two, this is a secure facility. So All right. I appreciate, we are public servants. We're actually servants of the Crown. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, we pay, we basically work I pay for it as well. Yeah, yeah. we all do. But yes, well. well, say, we're just going to record it and yeah. leave, guys. This That's what. Yeah. your custody facility. So our concern would be, why on earth are you filming here on this particular day and at this particular time? I'm happy to speak to you. Yeah, that's <laughs> with that at all. That's what we're just Right, yeah. okay. So, can you appreciate that the officers inside, with the jobs we deal with, with the people that we bring to this police station for various awful offences, 
can you appreciate why officers would be concerned that you are filming? Well, we'll leave that in, guys. I'm sorry, I didn't realise yeah, it. Well, I'm not from happy, here. I know, so. More than happy, you want to go over there and do it. Yeah. But whilst you're looking up at windows and filming up at windows, I would have an issue yeah, with no, that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, to officer. I'm going my face on social media, and you don't know what we do as roles uh -huh. in the place. <laughs> I'll blow you out, so guys, by all means, that's that, not a problem. I'm more than happy if you do that, but can you appreciate why officers yeah. are concerned? Yeah, I'm so, so I'd be really happy yeah. for you to go over there and film as much as you want. I would I'd be obliged if you blur officers face yeah, up because I can you do don't that. know the roles that they do and the jobs um, that they undertake. So you could be putting an officer at risk there. Yeah. yeah. But you are perfectly entitled to walk about and film here, but you can uh -huh. understand why they've sent us. All right, I, was, I still didn't realise it was yours for facility, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I upset any officers or that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I understand you, you don't, yeah. We also have members of the public who are coming to the police station, some of them are reporting some quite horrible crimes. All right. And if you've then got that person coming into a police station, yeah, is maybe coming to report a crime and you've got their face on there and then it's out in the public forum which you're entitled to be yeah. you're entitled to put it on social media you're then putting that member of the public at risk as well yeah. so all i'm asking you to do is to take that into consideration i'm yeah. not saying you can't film no. but you will get stopped in question by officers yeah. as to uh, why so you're um, is that all yeah, right? Yeah, and so. Well, I don't want to go to one of these copies. They probably can get. Yeah. It just says it's one from your court, your sergeant, like saying yeah, we're allowed to do it and that type of thing. Yeah. So. so. You can say basically it comes down from the main office space. Yeah. Well. I don't want yeah. to detain anybody and I don't want to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't realise it was. Cons I didn't realise it was your building. I didn't realise. This isn't. This is actually. The police's place. Right. If you want to go and stand on, on, the, on the pavement, that's public hour. Yeah. Which is brilliant. Yeah, so, so if I've upset you guys, I'm, I don't want to do all that. Uh, all. I, don't know. I don't want to do all that. I've... Yeah, it's a, it's a plastic yeah. walkway. No, this is the police grounds. This is right. plastic in, yeah. in the police deeds. But Hello, I'm happy. Help me out. I've, I've just been in to see if the death the death lies on the death. Sir, uh, I've confiscated this right. that I love above. What right. is it? And it's 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 all mixed here. Yeah, I can go over there, mate. If you want to report that, then. Yeah. If you look at the deeds, yeah. and you go online. Yeah. Have you got the YouTube channel, you? Yeah, I've got the YouTube right. channel. Yeah. yeah. It's Freedom Fighter. Freedom Fighter. But what's your name? Uh, Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Right.